So we're going to compare a good driver to a bad one. A well optimized one to a poorly optimized one. And you'll see that uh, it makes a considerable difference on the core clock of your GPU. In my case I'm running a 980 Ti and it runs on stock BIOS at 1571 on the core, which is extremely good. Now, you'll see that on the newest driver, which is a poorly optimized one, you'll see that within the first 10 seconds to a minute, that the voltage drops. And when the voltage drops, of course, the core drops with it. Uh, it'll go from 1.23 to 1.20, and I'll drop from the 1571, 1570 down to the 1550s. Now, uh, that is on the latest driver, which is 364.72, which came out on 328. Now, when I saw the performance of this one, I rolled it back to January's, which is 361.75. The January driver is a really good one to test between two drivers. Uh, it's the one that came out on January 27th. So I would recommend testing the performance between two drivers with the one from January, which is 361.75. You'll see that on that one, it stays at 1.23 volts the entire time Therefore, my core clock stays at 1571 the entire time. Uh, which also brings up the topic of the relationship between the core clock and the voltage. I am on a stock BIOS, so I'm limited at the 1.23. Now, if you're on a custom BIOS, some of the custom BIOS, as long as you have a good power supply up to 850-ish, then you can run your uh, run your voltage all the way up to 1.274, and at 1.274 that gives you all that extra headroom from 1.23. Therefore, your core clock will go higher if you have a good car. In my case, I've got a good car on stock BIOS 1571. I would imagine if I was to take a ballpark figure that my card would be 1600 to 1615, somewhere in there, uh, with a custom BIOS, and possibly with a water block too. A water block sure would help to keep temps, temps low. Temps are still good on mine. I stay around 62, 63, even with a massive overclock on the stock BIOS. Uh, I don't run my car like this when I'm gaming. I really just keep the upper couple of settings that I have for overclocks and really only run them when I'm benchmarking. So uh, with that underway, we will go ahead and get into the benchmarks and compare the two. So you should keep an eye on the voltage and keep an eye on the core clock and you'll see the relation between the two. You'll see the comparison of the two drivers.